Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Kindle video and I'll talk about how to set up Kindle for the first time and a few things you need to know. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more Kindle videos, there will be links in the description box below. So if you have uh, your first Kindle, you need to know a few things after going through the initial setup. And that's what I'll talk about today. So the first thing I recommend uh, to set up an Amazon account online if you haven't done so already. And the best way to set up your Kindle is to do it on Amazon. When you're buying Kindle, then there's going to be an option that you know whether you'd like to link this device to your account. And if you uh, click on that link, it's going to you know set up your Kindle uh, based on your preferences, and that's the best way to set up Kindle. And the second best way would be to uh, you know uh, sync your Kindle from your Kindle app from your phone. And when you turn on your Kindle, it's going to give you that option, and it's very easy to do. And if you do not have an Amazon account, uh, even before turning on the Kindle, I recommend to set up an Amazon account, although you can do so from your Kindle device, but it's much easier if you do it beforehand. And then you can just like, you know, enter your account information on here, or you can just like, you know, sync your Kindle app uh, from your phone to your Kindle. But assuming you haven't done anything, uh, let's say if your Kindle is not synced or you don't have any Kindle app, then when you open your Kindle, uh, make sure that uh, you have your Kindle uh, charged and then you can uh, turn on your Kindle by pressing the button uh, right here. Well, just before I do that, uh, this is uh, actually my own book, Credit Card Hacks. Uh, I'm just you know showing the cover from my Kindle library. So let's say once you turn on your Kindle, then what's going to happen that you're going to see a series of questions and you're going to have just like you know set up your Kindle Kindle quickly so basically after turning on you're going to choose your language and then you're going to click on get started then it's going to ask you to Wi-Fi and password after entering that you're going to have to register your Kindle with a new or existing account and if you haven't uh, if you don't have any account then you have to create an account and then it's going to give you the option to sync it to your Kindle app, which is the best way to, you know, start with your Kindle. And then also it's going to ask you uh, whether you wanted to start unlimited trial or open an account or sync to Goodread. Goodread. I haven't done that. I don't have unlimited. I don't have Goodread. So, you know, you don't need to do that. So once you're done, then Kindle is going to show you the uh, main page. And that's what I'll show you today. So what you're going to be looking at, let's say you have gone through the setup and everything is a page like this. And from here, I'm going to show you, you know, a few uh, tricks and how to get going with your first Kindle. So this is your Kindle's uh, homepage or desktop or main page. And here is going to show you a few sections. So from your library, so this is just going to, you know, pull up all your books from your library after linking your account or linking your uh, Kindle to your uh, Kindle app or Kindle account. And then if you scroll down uh, here, it's just going to you know give you uh, the Discover books. So basically it's just going to give you, you know, other books which might uh, suit your interests and needs uh, based on your preferences or based on what you have been reading. And if you just scroll down, and here, if you have Kindle Prime account, uh, you can read some uh, Kindle ebooks for free, and it's just going to give you a listing of those books, which are is going to be uh, expired. So this is just like an you know, all free. And here, same thing, popular in Prime reading. So you have access to these books for free, but uh, they are right now very popular. And then let's scroll down a little bit. So top page turners, uh, similar to your last read book, uh, last read book, uh, self-explanatory. It's just uh, like you know, giving you more options or more uh, books uh, based on your you know interest and need. Then try unlimited reading and listening. So it's just like a you know, kind of ad to uh, sign up for unlimited reading, which I believe you don't need. And then let's scroll down. Then here we have uh, recommendations uh, by AI uh, based on uh, you know what you read, and it's going to recommend what you should be reading. And then uh, there are more recommendations. Uh, so just let's go on. 
And here we have a most wished for Kindle books, new releases in Kindle stores. And then looks like that's it. So as you can see, all these sections, they are just kind of like, you know, way to advertise for more books or like, you know, make you to buy more books. But the main important sections are right on top. Now here, if you'd like to access your Kindle library, you have to just press here and then it's going to, you know, take you to your library. So for example, you can see that I have, uh, you know, uh, three different sections, personal development, personal finance, and investing and on collection, uncollected. So basically I just put them under a group and I haven't done that for every book. So for that's why it's showing that right now I have 49 books, which I haven't put under any collection. And I have only like, you know, two collections right now, which I'm going to be showing you later. And now here you can see that small book icon. So what it means that this is the current book you are reading. So if you just click on it, it's going to take you to that page where you left off. So for example, it's going to take you that, you know, uh, to that page you were reading. Now let's just, you know, go back to the main page and I'm going to go from there. So now here, if you, you can see that kind of a card. So if you click on here, it's just going to take you to the Kindle store. And here you can see or buy more books. You can buy directly from here, or you can buy from the app, or you can buy from your computer, from Amazon website. So basically this section is just like, you know, all about uh, recommending or uh, buying more books. Now let's go back here. And here you can see that there's kind of like you know, an arrow sign. So if you click on it, uh, it's giving you options. So this is the option to uh, turn on or off airplane mode. And then here, this is the option to turn on dark mode. Uh, so let's say if you click here, then it's going to be on dark mode. So here you can just like, you know, everything's going to be dark. Some people like that. Uh, so I'll just show you a quick example. So for example, you can see that, you know, it's all dark right now. Let's go back. So I'll just, you know, turn that off. And then here, sync. Uh, this is going to uh, do a syncing uh, from what you're reading to your Kindle devices. And then here you have the setup uh, for brightness and warmth. And also you can see that, you know, you can actually schedule automatic uh, warm light or blue light uh, based on uh, what you'd like. So if you click on here, then you have the option to do it automatically or manually. So basically the manual setup lets you set up every specific time, starting time and end time. Uh, you can do for every day. And then if you schedule automatic, then it just like, you know, uh, picks up uh, the timing of uh, sunset and sunrise, sunrise. And it's just going to do it automatically. And you can turn this, this feature on or off here. And then here is the warmth light control, which is at 16 right now. That's uh, what I'm trying right now, but you know, you can uh, make it um, go more or less based on if you need it. So here actually you're gonna have to just do some testing of your own and you have to decide which one you'd like. Now let's go back to the page where we came from. Okay, so now here you can see that there's the all settings button. So if you click on here and here it's showing your account and here this is your wireless connection. So you already are connected to wireless, but you can also like in turn on or off airplane mode from here or you can choose a different Wi-Fi network or connect to your Wi-Fi network or you can delete Wi-Fi password. Uh, let's go back. Now here device option. So here is going to give you options to display your book you're reading as cover. I showed you before. So basically if you turn it on, then it's going to show you that book you're reading. Uh, and if you turn it off, it's just going to pull some like, you know, pictures from Amazon's own library. And then here device info. So it's just giving you like, you know, some device info. Uh, usually we don't need, uh, this is like, you know, pin, uh, 11th generation Kindle paper white and it just give you like you know Wi-Fi just and stuff like that and then here uh, this is the same section we were before where you can control warmth uh, scheduling I showed that to you before and then here device passcode so you can actually protect your Kindle by entering a passcode if you don't want someone else to, you know, sneak into you what you're reading or like, you know, kids to look into your books and stuff. Uh, I don't have that. And then here you can restart your Kindle. Uh, 
which we are not going to do and then here this is the option to reset your Kindle to its original settings and uh, restart it uh, so this is going to be just like you know delete or erase everything and make it like you know book uh, kind of like you know Kindle new this is the same like when you uh, reset your computer and let's click on advanced options and see what we have here so we have here device timing setup uh, set the local time on your Kindle and you can just like you know uh, change it or fix it and then here home and library and let's see what we have here so he here it says that collections uh, how uh, see how collections are shown in your library so basically you can control that you know how collections are displayed uh, show only collections view show only favorites or show all in library so you can do that from here and let's go back and here we had whisper sync for books so this this is just like you know uh, it's data from your device to keep your Kindle apps in sync uh, you can just like you know uh, disable this or just keep it on uh, so I don't uh, use that power saver a low power sleeve mode uh, to conserve the battery so you can you know enable or disable uh, and then here's like you know privacy and store management let's uh, look at private store management so here you can see that this is uh, 5.95 GB free. Uh, I only used uh, 291 megabyte. So here you can see how much used uh, space you used and you have actually even a section to manual remove your book from your device or documents from your device. Uh, you can do that. And also here is the option to archive your books. Uh, that way it's going to you know uh, archive your books and it's going to free up your memory so that's something here now I think I have gone through all of it let's go back here and uh, that's all about the option so now uh, let's see what we have here so we have here reading options so if you click on here then this is page refresh and this is vocabulary builder so page refresh is that when you like you know turn on uh, go from one page to another page it just refreshes every time uh, by default, I think it's like you know six page after six page um, a Kindle refreshes, but you can turn it on uh, Which I don't think you need it, but for some older Kindle versions like you know uh, You might see kind of like you know the shadow from the older uh, from the previous page uh, If you don't refresh every time but for this Kindle uh, because this is the latest version and uh, They did a good job updating lots of things There's no ghost effect or shadow effect when you turn page so I kept it off and then vocabulary builder is on so basically Kindle has a feature that whenever you're reading a book and and you do not understand the word then you can just tap on it and it's going to like you know add it to your vocabulary uh, builder and it's going to show you the dictionary uh, and that's on so I'm going to show you uh, show that to you a little later and then here I think this is what we looked at already okay now let's go to language and dictionaries so here this is the default I have United States English uh, and I think you can choose like you know uh, Canada British English or other Englishes uh, or other like you know languages and here keyboard so I have just like you know uh, one English keyboard and default dictionary right now I have is the new Oxford American dictionary but you have the op uh, option to choose Oxford English dictionary so that's another option you have and then here we have Chinese sort order I didn't click on that uh, because you know I don't need that then let's see what we have here uh, accessibility so basically this is like you know voice view screen reader invert black and white uh, I'm not going to go into those I don't use that and help and users guide so it looks like that's all we have here and let me just click on these three dots and see what we get here so here just giving you the option to restart reset or show device info of your Kindle now basically that's all for settings and you can just actually um, X or get out of this page just by clicking here 
and then it's going to take you to the book now let's say once you're reading a book so to turn the page uh, like you know to go to the next page or go to the previous page you have to tap either on the left or right so if you are clicking on the right it's taking to the next page for example let's click here and you can see that you're on the next page to go back to previous page just click on the left side and it's taking you to the previous page now if you, you kind of scroll up from the bottom you can see that is giving you kind of a like you know summary or page uh, numbers where you're reading and you can actually manipulate where you're looking at the section so for example you can just like you know go back and forth uh, kind of sorting through the whole book and then there is another way you can display that is that if you just click here that is going to you know show you all the pages section by all the pages one by one and you can just like you know so through everything very fast just by going back and forth and you can also like you know go from here chapter by chapter so that's the feature if you like you know, skim through the book uh, very fast so I'm just going to go back to where we came from so that's one option and if you just scroll down or if you just like you know slide it from the top then you're going to get the setting menu again which I showed you already but one option is that let's say you're in the middle of a book and you go back to home page so if you kind of tap on the upper portion kind of like in you know, above this section kind of like you know here then it's going to give you the option to go to the go back to the home page so for example tap here and you can see that you know you're going you can go back to the home or now you have a few more options so let's click on here so if you click on a then it's going to give you the option to change themes font layout and more so for themes there's like a standard custom uh, compact large uh, so let's say if you choose large or compact is making it smaller if you choose large is making you bigger we'll go back to custom and then font so you have a few font options you can even make them bold or you can change its sizes so for example I kept it to the default which is book early but there's like you know um, future uh, and you can see that it's changing right here and then there is uh, Helvetica so there's more like you know fonts and stuff so I have to actually test this out later on but uh, for now I'm just uh, reading everything uh, as a default which is the bookerly and then here you can see that there's the layout and here you have the option to change orientation so for example if you make it landscape you have to just click here and it's going to change to landscape so let's get back this actually doesn't uh, change if you just you know turn or flip your uh, Kindle device you have to do it manually and then alignment and then spacing and then margin so you can change this but uh, you know these are all at default I never change them so the next one is more and the first thing you have here reading progress so basically this is uh, what it shows a page in book or you can choose it to time left or time left in chapter location in book uh, so I have it page in book so let's go back and then here it shows uh, the clock while reading it so for example here you can see the clock and uh, this is just to keep a track of time uh, when you're reading a book you might like you know uh, miss what time it is it is or you might might lose an appointment or something so you just know what time is it is it uh, book mention is a feature which shows another uh, book a book you are mentioning in that book uh, and if you just click on that book it's just going to take you to that other book and this is a feature uh, which is uh, to help you to you know see another book the author is mentioning and then about this book is that you know uh, show information about the book when open for the first time popular highlights is what I told you before that uh, you know it just shows you all the highlights of other people's and you can do your own highlights I turn it off because I find it kind of distracting and then highlight menu is the automatically show you the highlight menu when you select a passage or text page turn animation is a feature uh, which is kind of like you know shows you cool wavy kind of page flip or turn when you're going from one page to another page I have it on because it looks really neat and then here we have word wise which is a feature uh, which uh, shows you or gives you a hint of a 
often uh, like you know of a word which is not too common I have it off because I don't need it and this is something related to Chinese language so I have it off so it looks like that's all we have here so let's go back and let's see what we have next so next if we press here then it's giving you this option so it's kind of like you know giving a summary of the whole book or the contents so you can go you know page to page by page or you can sort through like you know a beginning or chapter by chapter and here you can see even conclusion now this tab notes and highlights is what you're going to see all the highlights and notes which I told you before so basically it's going to appear here uh, if there are any uh, and I think that's it here so let's X this and go back to the next one so the next one is going to be uh, bookmark so what happens here that it's just going to show you all the bookmarks you have and you can do a bookmark uh, by on a page when you're reading it if you just tap here then you know if you just tap here then you can see that bookmark and in order to do a bookmark you have to just click the plus sign here and now once you have a bookmark let's see you want to get rid of it so what do you do you just click on the bookmark and you just click on the X here and then it just deletes the bookmark so that's the bookmark feature there so let's uh, go back to the next option uh, so here is a search button and you can like you know do your searches uh, let's say you're looking for another author or something else you can just like an enter here and here's the keyboard and you can do a search and let's go back to the next one so the next one we have here the three dots so if you click on them then it's going to show you kind of a summary of everything about the book notes and highlights uh, vocabulary builder uh, settings sync to the furthest page read disable touch screen and share now here there's an option x-ray it looks like this book doesn't have it uh, actually this is my own book but uh, this would be very helpful when you're reading a novel or like in you know, a crime thriller or something it just gives you like you know a uh, summary or brief uh, summary of all the characters and uh, the scenes and stuff like that so for this book this is kind of a financial book so i think that's why it's not available and uh, these are the main basic features so another thing I mentioned you before that you know uh, you have the option to show what page you're reading or how many time how much time left so you can also bring that option by clicking here and see that each time you click is changing so for example we click again and then it's changing again and you click again you can change again and then this is nothing and then click again and it's going to show you the page number uh, let me just click here and see if there's something shows up so if I click here it uh, looks like there's no feature here okay and let's try clicking here and you see that it's just giving you the menu but if you want the bookmark either you can click here or there should be another option for bookmark okay so to get the bookmark looks like if you kind of slide it from the corner it's bringing you the bookmark so for example like this uh, it doesn't work all the every time but say like this okay so there so this is kind of like you know a little bit glitchy uh, I think you have to do like this nope okay so this sometimes works sometimes doesn't work but here you can another way you can bring up uh, to bookmark a page and the, and then you can just like you know delete the bookmark which I showed you before now to bring up the dictionary let's say you well, there's one word you don't know and you're just going to highlight or click that word then it's going to give you the dictionary and then from here you can highlight note and share which you can access from another section which I showed you before and if you just want to get rid of it then you have to just click on it and then other we can highlight it you can just like in a kind of this and see it just keeps highlighting and then here you can like you know write notes or keep highlight and also you have other features from here so if you don't want that then all you have to do is just uh, click it again and there should be an option delete then it's going to delete the highlight so so these are all basic features and I plan to do more uh, you know uh, videos on uh, Kindle Paperwhite and 
other e-reader in the future. So thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Thank you.